Hi, this is Kate from Minute Earth. Our early ancestors were tasty snacks for everything from carnivorous mammals to birds of prey. Luckily, they had developed a basic predator pattern recognition system that quickly located general threats and gave the primates time to escape. But when predatory snakes first came on the scene, that system totally failed. That's because snakes are essentially stick lookalikes whose hundreds of rib muscles and huge ventral scales help them move in a way that no other predator does, which kept them incognito and helped them chow down on unsuspecting prey. But eventually, some of these primates evolved what amounted to snake detectors, adaptations like neurons devoted specifically to snake spotting that helped the proto-monkeys quickly recognize a wriggling stick as dangerous and get out of dodge. Eventually, some of those helpful snake-sensing adaptations got passed down all the way to humans. Tests that measure the electrical activity in our brains show that when we look at pictures of snakes, we experience lots of activity right at the point when the brain is evaluating threats, far more than when we're looking at pictures of other predators. And take a look at these sequences. You'll probably see the creature on the top in an earlier frame than you see the one below, because your brain needs less visual information to pick out a snake than to identify other animals. Some researchers even think that we evolved our awesome color vision in part to help us successfully spot snakes. And there's some evidence that our sensitivity to snakes actually makes us prone to fearing them, but we don't yet know exactly how. What is clear, though, is that we definitely have snakes on the brain. Hi, this video was sponsored by 23andMe. It's a personal genetic analysis company that was created to help people understand their DNA and to offer insights into their ancestry, their personal traits, and their health. You science lovers will probably figure out the name right away. It's a nod to the 23 pairs of chromosomes that carry each of our DNA. So they actually sent me this test kit to learn about my DNA story. I'm pretty excited to try it out. All I have to do is to spit into this tube. There's no needles, no blood, it's really easy. Uh, we'll get the results back in a couple of weeks and I'm actually going to share some of them with you guys in one of our next videos. Hopefully they can tell me where this red hair came from because I have no idea. Uh, to learn about your DNA story and to support our channel, go to 23andMe.com slash MinuteEarth. We'll see you next time.